Christmas? Yeah, I got the yeah. for you. Wow. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you so much. You're welcome. Christmas come early. Doesn't it? Thank you so much. What a lovely young boy he was, wasn't he? Let's get rid of that. Put these up here. So Father Christmas seemed like a good guy, didn't he? And he's delivered us a nice parcel. I wonder what it is. Should we have a look? How you get into it? They put lots of tape on this. Okay, fine. Oh, it's actually sideways. There we go. Typical delivery drivers can't keep anything upright. It is. It's a steel MS881. We've been waiting for this for ages, and we're especially delivered by Father Christmas. So aren't we lucky? Let's get rid of this. So we thought we'd do a bit of an unboxing video, something of this size and this magnitude and of this pure, powerful machine. I'll be honest, we've already had a little sneak peek in the box, but we haven't got it out yet. So you're sharing this with us as we're gonna see it now. Get this all together and see what comes in the box, see what it's all like. We've also got an MS-880 out the back, so we'll bring that in and put them up against each other and see um, which, which one looks the best. But I have a feeling which one it might be. But anyway, let's get it opened up. So inside the old box, there's a bloody big chainsaw in there. And, I need a hand to get us out. Right, ready? Ugh. Look at that! What else have we got? A uh, sandwich bag, and a toffee spanner, a delivery note, it's always handy. Let's chuck that back there. A manual. So there we are, look at her. No, don't do that anymore, get rid of that. So we've got our still MS881, but I think there's a big bit missing here. Father Christmas seems to have forgotten to give us our bar and chain. Bear with. Is that Father Christmas's dispatch department? Excellent, you seem to have forgotten part of my delivery. Yes, it is James, how did you know that? Yeah, brilliant, fantastic, thank you. Go and see where it is. Bloody delivery drivers. Even Father Christmas can't get the star. You forgot to give me the bar and chain. I'm back. That was lucky. Right, open this up. What do you reckon it is? Do you reckon it's a big gun or a bar and chain for a chainsaw? I don't know. I'm not very good at opening presents. Don't get them very often. Oh, poor me. Our bin's now full of wrapping paper. And we've got a big orange dong. No, sorry, scabbard. Big long orange scabbard. A bar, which is, we've got the 36 inch long bar. There we go. And a bloody great big 404 chain. Get rid of that, don't do that anymore. There we go. Should we whap it together? Undo these beauties on the side. Captive nuts. Oh yeah, it's got a locating pin at the bottom of these, isn't it? There they are. See, I'm gonna put them in your pocket. They stay on the, stay on the clutch cover now, look. Like that, slide out my, look at that. Rollomatic chainsaw bar. Put my box in, get rid of that. Quite a lumpy thing, isn't it? Slide on the old bar. Look at that, it's all good. Get the old chain out the box, 404 chain. How many drive links is that? 108 drive links, or 404. So it's 1.6 mil. That's a big old chain, isn't it? Look at that. Which way does it go around? Anyone know? Slide that one up in there, like so. There we go. Do -do, do -do -do. Obviously, you should be wearing gloves to do this because Everybody wears gloves when they put a chainsaw together, don't they? 
do them up a little bit. Just finger tight. Now I'm going to need my special steel tools they supplied us. And you know what? I'm not going to open that bag. I got flattered. All right. Doo -doo. Feel the meat on the end of that. There we are. We got our 881 together. Ah! If you've seen our MS-170 video we done a few weeks ago, I held the 170 up in the air, you know, at the end of the video to show how cool it was. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it with this one. Maybe two-handed, but not one-handed. Right, so what have we got? We've got an MS-881. Very similar to the MS-880. All the stats are pretty much the same as the old saw. The only main difference is that the 880 was a two-stroke engine, where this is now a two-mix engine. The reason they've done that is due to emissions and all of that jazz, but they've also produced a beautiful looking machine. Everything is very, very similar. So even if I pop the old air cleaner off the back, you'll see that that looks very, very similar to the 880. In actual fact, I think it's even the same filter, but I'd have to check the part numbers. That is all pretty much all the same. Whether the parts fit as they do on the other ones, I don't know. I don't know if the 881 parts will fit onto the 880 or not. Um, the only other main difference is you've got the diagnostic port on this one, so you can plug a, a computer into it, check how many hours it's done, you know, so if a dealer's serviced it and then the customer's used it for so many hours, and then they want to plug it back in again to say, oh, my saw only failed in 10 minutes and you plug it in and it's done 20 hours, then it's nice to have that accessibility to be able to do that. But pop that one back on again. But yeah, other than design, and obviously a completely different engine in it, it's pretty much the same as the 880. Let's go and get the 880 a minute, bear with me. I got another big weapon. Ugh. Let's get rid of these orange dongs a minute. So 36 on there, looks about it. Pop them down there out the way. But yeah, as you can see, there isn't a great deal of differences on it. It's looking like the same chain brake handle, same wraparound handle. The exhaust even looks the same, but whether that's the same on the inside or not, I don't know. Dogging teeth all look the same. No captive nuts on the old 880 though, is it? So yeah, definitely captive nuts on the 881. So yeah, everything looks very, very similar on the source. Obviously, they're still doing these though. They're still doing these caps. One day they'll change that. I really do hope still change that one day. I've never liked them, never have, but there we are. And I think there'll be a lot of people out there who'll agree with me that they don't like those caps. Mr. Still, there we go. It's my moan over and done with. I don't, what's, ooh. Yes, yeah, so everything's a little bit different here. Obviously different back cover on the air filter housing and everything there, but everything's looking pretty much the same. Certainly looks posh, doesn't it? So there we have it guys, the new Steel MS881. It's a beautiful looking saw. It's got some extra little benefits on it, but the real test is gonna be using it. And well, we've got the 880 and we've got this saw. So I think it's, it would be silly not to put it through some wood to see what it can do. So anyway, we've managed to get hold of some really big chunky bits of wood. So we're gonna put them through some pretty decent timber. For you to be able to watch that, we're gonna need you to be able to click subscribe so that you can watch all of our other videos. There's all loads of videos on there already, but we're gonna be doing a load more. So yeah, please click subscribe. If you can also like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram, that'd also be great. You can keep up with our progress on different projects, different machines, or even our special offers. But yeah, click on it and it's hayesmachinery.co.uk. Many thanks guys, we'll see you soon.